A hunger strike prompted by new restrictions on feeding the hungry in South Florida has now spread to the Bay Area. Two activists with Tampa's Food Not Bombs organization have also stopped eating. Eight on your side's Mark Douglas tells us why. There's nothing that would stop me from exercising my humanity um, and friendship with the people that I've come to love here. Tampa activist Desiree Lynn has declared her own hunger strike. That's because of Fort Lauderdale's decision to criminally charge 90-year-old Arnold Abbott and two pastors who feed the hungry in that city's parks. And we should be allowed to feed our fellow man. Tampa faced its own legal battle over feeding the hungry in city parks a decade ago. It's pretty much the same exact thing. The city is saying that they're doing it for health reasons, where really they just want to hide the homeless population. Tampa police now allow park feedings. The ordinance is not being enforced right now. It actually was um, uh, relax in a way where we can feed less than 50 people in a space. Lynn fears Fort Lauderdale's hardline stance will start the hassling all over again right here in Tampa. We're not arresting them. We certainly try to discourage them to do it in a more appropriate fashion. Mayor Buckhorn tells me he has no plans to follow Fort Lauderdale's food sharing crackdown with one of his own. Anytime you're picking on a 90 year old guy, it's not going to end well for you. Desiree Lynn tells me she's not eating another bite until something changes in Fort Lauderdale. Meanwhile, she'll return here to Gaslight Park in the morning to feed other hungry people. In Tampa, I'm Mark Douglas, News Channel 8. The Tampa group Food Not Bombs will feed the hungry in Gaslight Park tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock right in front of Tampa Police Headquarters.